Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Getting to know plants. Question number 1. Which of the following are plants with soft stem that grow only with a support? Option A. Herbs. Option B. Climbers. Option C. Trees. Option D. Shrubs. The correct answer is Option B. Climbers. Plants that take support on neighboring structures and climb up are called as climbers. Egg. Grapevine creepers like climbers have a weak stem too. But they usually spread on the ground. Egg. Pumpkin. Question number 2. The swollen part of the pistil is known as underscore. Option A. Ovules. Option B. Petals. Option C. Ovary. Option D. Stamen. The correct answer is Option C. Ovary. The swollen part of the pistil is known as the ovary. Ovary contains the ovules which contain the female gametes or the egg cells. After fertilization, ovaries develop into fruits and the ovules become seeds. Question number 3. Which part of the plant is this? Option A. Stem. Option B. Root. Option C. Leaf. Option D. Flower. The correct answer is. Option C. Leaf. This part of the plant is called the leaf. The leaf is a part of the plant that is responsible for making food for the plant. This food making process is called photosynthesis. Question number 4. The plants are attached to the soil by the structures known as underscore. Option A. Stem. Option B. Leaves. Option C. Flowers. Option D. Roots. The correct answer is. Option D. Roots. Roots help in holding the plant firmly in the soil. They help plants to absorb water and minerals from the soil, which are essential for their survival. In some plants, these roots are modified to perform various other functions like reproduction and food storage. For example, carrot and turnip are modified forms of roots to store food. Question number 5. Sprouts of gram seeds are Option A. Roots Option B. Leaves Option C. Stem Option D. Flower The correct answer is Option A. Roots Sprouting is basically a process where seeds and legumes are germinated and eventually eaten raw. When seeds are soaked in water for a certain period of time, they germinate, causing their outer layers to tear open and allowing a young root to come out. Gram seeds absorb water and roots come out of them. Question number 6. Which part of the plant conducts water? Option A. Root. Option B. Stem. Option C. Leaves. Option D. Flowers. The correct answer is. Option B. Stem. The stem is the part of the plant responsible for conducting water. There is a structure called xylem inside stem which forms a network of tubes which carry water from the roots to all parts of the plant. Question number 7. Tomato plant is a type of underscore. Option A. Herb. Option B. Shrub. Option C. Tree. Option D. Climber. The correct answer is Option A. Herb. Plants with green and tender stems are called herbs. They are usually short and they do not have many branches. Some plants develop branches near the base of stem. The stem is hard but not very thick. Such plants are called shrubs. Some plants are very tall and have hard and thick stem. 
the stems have branches in the upper part, much above the ground. Such plants are called trees. Climbers have weak stem and they take support and climb up. Question number 8. The male reproductive part of the flower is known as underscore. Option A. Petals. Option B. Sepals. Option C. Stamen. Option D. Pistil. The correct answer is Option C. Stamen. The flower is the reproductive part of the plant. It has a male structure and a female structure. Stamen is the male part of the flower. It has two parts anther and filament. Pistil is the female part and has three parts stigma, style, and ovary. Question number 9. The lines that are seen on the leaves are known as underscore. Option A. Chlorophyll. Option B. Petiole. Option C. Veins. Option D. Axil. The correct answer is. Option C. Veins. Veins are the lines that can be seen on the lamina of the leaf. Whereas petiole is the stalk that attaches the leaf plate to the stem and chlorophyll is a green color pigment present in the leaf and play a vital role in the photosynthesis process. Question number 10. Which of the following has a main central root? Option A. Tap root. Option B. Fibrous root. Option C. Prop roots. Option D. Soft roots. The correct answer is Option A. Tap root. Tap roots are the root systems found in dicotyledonous plants. They have a main central root that runs deep into the soil. The main root has several lateral roots that are smaller in size. Egg, carrot. In contrast, fibrous roots have no main central roots. It has a bunch of smaller roots which do not run deep into the soil. Grasses have fibrous roots. Question number 11. Which of the following is not a fruit? Option A. Brinjal. Option B. Tomato. Option C. Mango. Option D. Carrot. The correct answer is. Option D. Carrot. Part of the plant which develops from the ovary is called a fruit. Tomato. Guava. Mango and peas are examples of fruits as they originate from the ovary and enclose seeds which are developed from ovules. Question number 12. Water is transported to the leaves as well as food is transported from the leaves to the other parts of the plant through the underscore. Option A. Carpel. Option B. Flower. Option C. Stem. Option D. Both stem and flower. The correct answer is Option C. Stem. Water is transported to the leaf for photosynthesis and food is transported from the leaf to different parts of the plant through the stem as it is the link connecting the different parts of the plant. Question number 13. Plants which have hard woody stem with branches close to the ground are called underscore. Option A. Shrubs. Option B. Creepers. Option C. Hubs. Option D. Climbers. The correct answer is Option A. Shrubs. Plants which have hard woody stems and branches close to the ground are called shrubs. For for example China Rose, Camellia, etc. These plants do not grow tall. Question number 14. The green outermost layer of a bud is known as underscore. Option A. Sepals. Option B. Petals. Option C. Stamen. Option D. Pistil. The correct answer is. Option A. Sepals. Sepals are small leaf-like structures which protect the bud stage of the flower. They form the outermost layer of the bud. These are mostly green in color and its appearance is similar to small leaves. 
Question number 15. The process by which food is prepared in leaves is known as Option A. Respiration. Option B. Transpiration. Option C. Photosynthesis. Option D. Regeneration. The correct answer is Option C. Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process by which food is prepared in the leaves using carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight. The leaves have chlorophyll pigments which help in absorbing sunlight. Question number 16. Which of the following has monocot seeds? Option A. Peas. Option B. Beans. Option C. Lentils. Option D. Maize. The correct answer is Option D. Maize, peas, beans and lentils have seeds with two cotyledons. Hence, they are dicots. However, maize produces monocot seeds with a single cotyledon. Question number 17. Parts of the plant that arise exclusively from the ovary of the flower are called fruits. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is Option A. True. Fruits are a result of fertilization. After fertilization, the ovary develops into the fruit and the ovule develops into the seed. Question number 18. Stem connects all parts of the plant i.e. the parts under the ground as well as those above the ground. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is Option A. True. Stem connects the underground parts of the plant i.e. roots to the leaves which are essential aerial parts of the plant. Question number 19. Underscore is the colorful part of an open flower used to attract insects. Option A. Petal. Option B. Stamen. Option C. Pistil. Option D. Anther. The correct answer is Option A. Petal. Petals are the colorful parts of a flower. They help in attracting insects for pollination. Stamen is the male reproductive part of a flower and anther is a PRT of it. Pistil is the female part of a flower. Question number 20. Stay true or false. Stem helps in transportation of food and water to different parts of the plant. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is Option A. True. The following are the functions of stem. 1. Stem helps in transportation of absorbed water and nutrients through vascular tissue from roots to leaves. 2. Stem also transports food from the leaves to different storage organs. 3. Sometimes stem can store food which is mostly underground. 4. Stem can store water by becoming fleshy as in desert plants. 5. Green stem can perform photosynthesis when leaves are reduced or absent as in desert plants. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now. Link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.